Get this stuff on the road. Who, where, what, when? Shall be. Let's see what we got. Oh, there it is. Not an okay. Well, YouTube. My other audio still having some issues with it. Okay. <clears throat> Minutes. Slowly get this. Sooner or later, I'm going to have that. Figure out. Goes. Our person there. And almost ready to rock and roll. Set. Hey, Larry, how are you doing? Show afternoon it is now officially noon so it is time to set this in motion <clears throat> it's episode 388 and i've got plugins for anti-spam wordpress backups file uploaders woocommerce products woocommerce product feeds and classic press options all coming up on wordpress plugins a to z wordpress it's the most popular content management and website solution on the internet. And with over 80,000 plugins to choose from, how do you separate the junk from the gems? Join us for a weekly, unrehearsed conversation about the latest and greatest in WordPress plugins. This is WordPress Plugins from A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you have to be hiding out there on the globe today. Coming to you direct from the Brewery Overlook in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, I'm John Overall. And I have the usual great show for you today, but right off the top, don't forget you can get all the show notes over at WPPluginsAtoZ.com. And if you got a few minutes, greatly appreciate your time over at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and in the iTunes Store, leaving reviews and subscribing to the show there. And also take some time out there. If you're not already, subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I go live because I go live once a week on Thursday at noon. And it looks like I'm going to be doing just a live show on Saturday evenings about 8 o'clock going forward here. It's something I've started doing. It's kind of fun. I enjoy it. And then periodically, if I get the urge, I may just go live again. So make sure you check it out. And there's other little tidbits going up to YouTube as I complete them. Also, you can subscribe to the show over at WP Plugins, A to Z dot com uh, or on Twitter, WP Plugins, A to Z on Twitter and follow us on our Facebook page and subscribe to the newsletter over on the WP Plugins, A to Z dot com website. 
And the holiday season, partly behind us. Hope everyone had themselves a fantastic Christmas. I had a great one. Santa was nice to me this year and to my boys. So it's really kind of a nice year. Well, all we have left is the New Year's. Let me tell you a little secret. Don't tell your personal trainer you suffered from a hangover day after Christmas because he seems to put you through 10 times the amount of work. All right. That being said, let's dive into the meat and potatoes of the show. All right. First up here, I have the segment I started a few weeks ago with the show where I now bring you a couple of plugins right off the top that I have yet to actually use myself. They're plugins that have been submitted to me by developers, and I have a big backlog of them. So I thought it would be important to bring them out here, talk about them a little bit that I can figure out with them. The reviews I'm giving on them, the ratings I'm giving are based upon their website and if they have a, a demo that I can test it out and see how it works. Other than that, I have not actually used them, but they do sound interesting. So the first one up here was sent in to us by C. Shakawat Sultan, and it's a freemium plugin and it's called WooCommerce Product Feed Manager. And this one here is a plugin that helps you manage product feeds going into your WooCommerce store. And in particular, if you use product feeds from multiple sites, such as uh, Amazon or, let's say they, they got a list of them. They got, uh, I'm trying to think where they all come from. Uh, filters, they filter all the information intuitive interfaces for it and they got a whole lot of pop-ups on their site but oh, there it is amazon google ebay next tag facebook you know bringing in your product feeds from all these different places or feeding out from your woocommerce site to all these different places and what it does for you is it helps you manage those feeds to keep control of your products for you you can increase your WooCommerce store sales, et cetera, et cetera, with it. It looks to be a pretty decent plugin. It's a freemium plugin. They do have a free version, which will allow you to go check out uh, a little bit about the site. And where did it go here? I had the comparison up earlier. Eh, I've lost the comparison for it. Anyway. The, uh, the free version lets you set up one feed. If you go to their premium version, which is 89 bucks a year, you can set up multiple feeds on your site. If you're running a decent sized WooCommerce site, this would be something worth checking out if you're feeding out to multiple places. So go give it a check out. It's called the WooCommerce Product Feed Manager. And based on everything I can see with it, it looks like it should be worth about a four dragon rating. Give it a check out. The next one I've got from you was one that was sent in to me by Ak Aksat, Aksat Chodoret, Chod Chodhai. I'm really going to have to work on my enunciation. Sorry if I butcher your names, guys, but I'm, I'm learning. This is a premium plugin. It's uh, called Blog Vault Backup Service. This is another backup service for, Wor for WordPress that you can use. It is a premium service from $7 to $99 a month, depending on which level you're at with it. It uh, does multiple backups or backups of your website. It can help you do some transfers of your site. It'll do daily automatic backups, a variety of other features like taking on-demand backups whenever you need, scheduling the backups on your convenience, large websites, Blog Vault, Alt, Blog Vault offers incremental backup facility to ensure nothing is missed. And it offers you quite a bit with what it does. And the pricing on it, as I said, it's, you know, seven bucks for a personal site for one website all the way up to an agency with 100 websites so if you manage multiple sites and you want a backup system this might be something to consider if they're on a shared hosting platform or multiple platforms like many hosts don't even provide proper backups these days which is kind of strange to me considering how cheap storage is for the most part so at any rate this is one you want to check out if you're looking for a backup service Looks to be a good one. I've heard about it from time to time, and I give this one a four dragon rating. So go check it out. Meat and potatoes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, Larry. 
seem to losing that from time to time. All right. So those are the two plugins I've got so far that I haven't checked out. So let's jump into this show here, currently brought to you by... Take the work and worry out of maintaining and caring for your WordPress website. JohnOverall.com has 20 plus years experience and offers hosting, maintenance programs, emergency support, and more to keep your site up to date and running smoothly. We offer free estimates and only bill you for the time used, not by the block. While you're caring for your business, let JohnOverall.com care for your website. Think of us when you think of WordPress. Visit johnoverall.com. Absolutely. Come visit me for all your WordPress needs, especially if you're looking for better WordPress hosting. Something I'm going to be putting a little bit more focus on in the new year is my hosting business, uh, mainly because I offer fantastic hosting, reasonable price. You don't have to fight for all of your services. And I make sure there's always backups available. And we are currently still giving away some plugins. We have four, four contests here. And the contests are powered by the Simple Giveaways plugin, who kindly provided us with the premium version of their plugin to run our contests on. I liked it when I was using the free version, but the premium version, so much better. Make sure you go check that out. Current contests we have. <coughs> excuse me. A copy of Woohoo, which... Uh, is a plugin for going in and editing up your Woohoo, your WooCommerce site. You can do a lot of customizations with Woohoo. If you like that, go enter the contest for it. A copy of the interactive US map, which is a really cool plugin. I've, I've examined this plugin a couple of times over the years. And not only do they have US maps, but they have maps for countries all over the world. And these maps can be seriously integrated. So go check them out. WP PDF Embedder. This is a fantastic plugin for embedding PDFs into your website. I use it across about four or five of my websites. So get a license for this one. It'll save you a lot of grief when putting PDFs into your website. Very nice plugin. And a free year of Kanban from Kanban WP. And this one here is a projects website or projects manager tool to help you manage your projects if you've got multiple people working on your projects on your website. So check this one out it's a really nice one and you can enter to win a copy or a free year worth of all of these services all you need to do is go to wp plugins a to z.com slash contests and we have one week left for the contest and i'm really happy to see that people have been entering the contest this last month excited to see that you know people are starting to dig into them again and next up i have for you the next plugin here is Ajax Upload for Gravity Forms. Couldn't remember if I'd done this one before, but if I had, well, it's back again. This is a tool that you can use if you're using an Aj or Gravity Forms and you have it set to upload files or images or anything like that. And I have a couple on different websites that we do this. Normally what happens is they enter their file and nothing occurs until they submit the form. And that takes a little bit longer to submit the form because now it's got to upload the form. But what this plugin can do is it can shorten that for you. They can choose their files, pick them, set them in place. They can click the upload button and they upload while they finish filling out the form. You know, save a few moments. You know, every, like you say, every 10 seconds saved adds up to minutes by the end of the year, sometimes even hours. So this is something that just saves time for everyone and is a very simple plugin to use. And it's free. And it's so that makes it just a fantastic plugin. Free, works, and is good. What else happens there? That gives it a five dragon rating. There we go. Jo go check it out. The Ajax Upload for Gravity Forms. All right. What do we got now? Oh, feedback. Listener feedback. Well, we like listener feedback and questions. This week, have none. But if you would like to leave some, please go to the contact page on the website. Uh, hit the speak pipe button in the lower right-hand corner of WP Plugins A to Z. Or you can email me directly at john at wppro.ca. Any of those places there, I will answer your questions to the best I can. So you'll want to check it out and um, just contact me with your questions. This show 
value for value model, meaning if you get any value out of it, please give some value back. In that vein, I like to acknowledge those who have supported the show in the past week. All donations, $50 and over. Their note is read out and published here. Those that come below 50, thank you very much. They remain anonymous. This week here, no big donors, but I'd like to give a big thank you to those who have hired me in the last few months because of this podcast. That's as good as a donation to the show because you're hiring me because you've heard me through the show. So I'd like to thank you very much for supporting me in that manner. Aside from listening to the show, you go, hey, maybe he knows what he's doing. So you hire me to do some work. And a few of you have become extremely long-term clients just because of this podcast. So thank you very much in that area there. I would also like to thank those who came in under $50 and have set up the small Patreon donations and the small PayPal donations. Those little bits really help the show. Now, the money that's donated to the show does not end up in my pocket. That money there actually covers the costs of the show. It covers the transcripts. It covers the bandwidth, the server space, all of the incidentals that are just simply required to run a podcast. And if you've never run a podcast, go do it. You'll find out real quick that that even though it doesn't seem like it costs anything, there's money involved in it. Even if it seems like it's small amounts, it adds up by the end of a year. So thank you very much to all those that support the show. And if you would like to support the show, just go to WPPlugins, A to Z dot com slash donate to donate to the show. Simple form, name, email, decide whether you want to subscribe to the newsletter, leave a message if you like, choose your dom- donation amount, it takes you directly to PayPal, and it donates it. So simplest thing you can do. Thank you very much for all those that support the show. All right, and before we jump off to that, I just want to comments. I really like comments. I had some really good comments in the live stream I did last Saturday night. You might want to check it out and read the comments there. We got into a good discussion as I was discussing my uh, WordPress drama, which I'll come back to at the end of the show. And uh, so far here, thanks, Larry. The PDF and better, fantastic. I use it a while. You've used it a few times. Yeah, I use it a lot. So it's a, it is a great plugin. Thank you very much. Okay, the last plugin for WordPress here that I have, this one here is kind of a simpler plugin. Kind of cool. If you have a menu and you want to put some of those men- fancy menu icons and your theme doesn't have it built in, and many themes have it built in now, but this is a menu icons plugin by Themeisle. A really nice nifty plugin that all you got to do is go in, install it, activate it, and then you go to your menus and you can just choose from multiple icons that that are produced by Font Awesome, Geneticons, Elusive, etc. And determine what size you want them to be, where you want them left, right, um, how you want them placed in the menu, insert them, and then set them. And then all of a sudden you'll have those fancy menu icons without a whole lot of extra effort if your theme doesn't provide it. So this is a really simple plugin. Nothing super stupendous or fancy, but hey, still kind of cool. So go check it out. The menu icons by Theme Isle, and I give it a four dragon rating. All right, Classic Press. Yes, I'm going to keep talking about Classic Press because it's not going away. I don't know how many people have followed Classic Press ever since the release of Gutenberg, but Classic Press has made some massive inroads into the WordPress community. And as I said, when it first occurred, I'm pretty sure by the end of it, 30% of what was the WordPress community on December 6th using classic press probably by the end of january to the middle of february there's been more and more people moving over so i'm going to continue with this show even though it's a wp plugin show i'm going to add classic press plugins and i will have a uh, ur i already bought the url cp plugins a to z so i will already have that pointing to this site to carry people in here from classic press right now it's even all the plugins work in classic press but i know it's going to change over time so this will be an interesting growth thing for me as i have to travel both paths 
So this week here, I do have a uh, plugin tested out for Classic Press. And I figure if you're going to start with it, you may as well start at the beginning to see the important plugins for a website. Now, the most important plugin on a website, in my opinion, if you're going to accept comments on your site, is to set up an anti spam plugin. And it annoyed me to no end that Akismet was built into WordPress, thereby defying one of WordPress's own rules about uh, having plugins in there. So that annoyed me to no end. But that was the first thing I removed. There's a, there's a fantastic plugin uh, in WordPress that uh, was called Tasks After Install. I still use it every time I set up a new WordPress site, hit it, it wipes out, it wipes out the Akismet, the Hello Dolly, cleans up everything and sets it, sets it to perfectly clean like it should be when it's new. At any rate, I removed that and installed anti spam -bee. So I thought, well, let's make sure this works in Classic Press. And it does. And anti spam B is, in my opinion, the best anti spam plugin out there. It's very simple, very lightweight, does not depend on a third party service, and um, it just looks, it just works really, really well. So, this is one that you'll want to check out and use. If you're switching to Classic Press, you have an anti spam plugin that will work. So, go check it out, anti spam B, and I give it a five dragon rating okay so and larry asks here so classic press stays at 4.9 and only gets security updates eh, i don't know if that's exactly what they're doing from what i can tell they're actually forking it off right now it's security updates it's not even when you do the classic press conversion which i've done it makes a lot of changes in there to all the files, all the files in the core change from WP to CP. It does leave the WP content folder alone. So all the content there stays where it should be. You actually still, if you want to add plugins, remove and update plugins in Classic Press, it uh, still uses the WordPress repository to get that information and do it. So it, they're, kind of, they're kind of on a parallel path right now from what I can see. I haven't read their map. They have mapped out what they plan to do with Classic Press. It's on their website at classicpress.net. And their map, I'm pretty sure their map is going to see a complete divergence. And of course, it's actually gonna happen one way or another, just simply the way Gutenberg is going. And I expect it'll be hmm, six months, a year, maybe a bit longer before they've completely diverged. And then the plugins for Classic Press, don't work as well for the pl as the plugins in WordPress. They start having conflicting errors. I expect it about that point. Right now, any plugin that worked in version 4.9899 of, uh, of WordPress, I'm pretty sure will work in Classic Press. So I know about that. And yeah, Akismet is bloatware. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely bloatware. <clears throat> and Classic Press, yeah, well... Classic Press was created to avoid the block editor changes. Yes, it was, Larry, and that's what's going to happen to it. And they're just going to continue down the line of where WordPress would have gone had they not edited Gutenberg to the core. So that's pretty much what I think is going to occur. Who knows? They could overtake WordPress at some point in time if uh, WordPress makes enough mistakes over the next couple of years. They've made a load of those recently. All right, so closing out this episode, I covered up plugins were the WooCommerce Product Feed Manager, which I gave a 4 to, the Blog Vault Backup Service, which I gave a 4 to, the Ajax Upload for Gravity Forms, which I gave a 5 to, the Menu Icons by Theme Isle, which I gave a 4 to, and the Anti Spam B plugin for Classic Press, which I gave a 5 to. So we're looking pretty good there. So real briefly, just to cover up, uh, there's a big long post for those that haven't caught it over at WP Plugins. I have been officially banned from the WordPress forums. I am no longer permitted to post in there or create a new account or anything else. If you wanna read it, I've got the entire email thread with me and um, um, what's his name uh, yet? Um, name in my head here. 
Oh, Jan, Jan, Jan Dabrowski, 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 Jan Dabrowski, me and me and him going back and forth and him eventually just even after I had capitulated to everything, I just didn't say the right words, I think. And he just went, no, I'm leaving you suspended. You can appeal to one of the other moderators if you want. And personally, I don't think I'm going to have any success with that. So I just sort of left it. I'm done. But it is an interesting read. I've been told. I, I passed it out. And I've had a few people comment on it. And a couple of people commented. It's like, wow. Or wow. No one person commented and said, I didn't really think I'd read the whole thing. But then suddenly I had read the whole thing. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, sometimes drama just can just be entertaining as all. So at any rate, it's official. I'm no longer allowed in the WordPress forums. They love me. That means I just got to email all the developers directly when I do stuff for them. And let them know that, yeah, I still exist. Still pretty cool. Good guy here. Not so bad. And I'll continue doing the plug-in reviews that I've been doing for a long time. All right. That pretty much wraps everything up here for today. And I've got all my little, little notes carried out. That's it. Just make sure you stop in and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the show at uh, iTunes, YouTube, and all the usual places. So thank you very much for listening to the show. And I'll look forward to talking to you next week. And thanks a lot for showing up, Larry. Always appreciate having someone into the show to talk to. Thanks for a good day. All right, I'm going to let my girl get on at Reminders for the show. All the show notes can be found at WPPluginsAtoZ.com. And while you're there, subscribe to the Friday newsletter for more useful information delivered directly to your inbox. WP Plugins A to Z is a show that offers honest and unbiased reviews of plugins created by developers because you support the show. Help keep the show honest and unbiased by going to WPPluginsAtoZ.com slash donate and set the donation level that fits your budget. Help us make the show better for you by subscribing and reviewing the show at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and in the iTunes Store. You can also watch the show live on YouTube, check out the screencasts and training videos, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of all new videos. Also, follow the show on Twitter at WPPluginsA to Z. John can be reached at his website at johnoverall.com or send him an email, john at wppro.ca. Thanks for joining us and have a great day. Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyrighted by johnoverall.com. So until next time, have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today. <laughs> That's all we got now. Take care.